I'm always thinking about my own integrity. So you know, as a practitioner, always think about your integrity. I'm not gonna do this. It's really bad, poor posture. I might as just, you know, so I've come down here, I've bent my knees. And as I bend my knees, look, now I'm in a proper, proper, um, proper posture. And the movement for this one here is this. Let me do exaggeration of what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So it's like going from bow stance, horse stance, just alternating. And let me just check, let me slow this stance down. Movements become smaller. I'm doing the same thing, the same thing. Mark, it feels like my whole body hitting you, you know? It's not just my arms, but the whole body, the whole body is hitting you. So we're just gonna send these energies in, it's gonna start loosening up the, the hams. It's really good for you guys, practitioners, you know, the recipient here, he's just standing here and he's learning to take licks. <laughs> yeah, you're learning just to kind of take blows, you know, but you're also allowing your body just to cater for it, you know, just to naturally equilibrate. And for the person that's giving the energy, you're learning just to be in good form, just good form. And you have controlled aggression here. This what we describe as controlled aggression, but I have controlled ferocity. So I describe it as like, you know, be a gentle tiger or a gentle lion. My intention here is to project energy in, I want to help. So I'm being, you know, I have conviction in what I'm doing. I'm being very gentle about it. And also as you're doing this, make sure you yourself are always just watching your breath as well. It's very important. Because I'm teaching you guys at the moment, I'm having to hold my breath as I speak. But when you're practicing, just allow your breath just to come and go. Just go with the speed that your breath, just go with the speed that the natural ebb and flow or the rhythm of your breath permits you to do. <sighs> Step forward, please. How's that feel? Mm -hmm. Feeling more stable now, isn't it? You're starting to mm -hmm. feel more grounded, isn't it? Yeah? Going, for, going down further still. Look, now I'm gonna go into like a, <laughs> you see, from this position here, if you relax, sung, ah, should be no different. So this is like a really low squat now, which is like a like a horse stance as well. So I'm gonna go towards Michael's calf, yeah. And with this one, I'm very aware that I wanna don't wanna send him off too too much balance. So I've got the other hand on the other side. I'm gonna catch the egg through his calf. Yeah, boom. Just gently. And you hear that? Boom, it's almost like a. If you do it right, there's a there's a unique sound that you create. But here I'm just going into the calf, just going it, going in it different directions, not different directions. Just holding it. So there's one egg meeting another egg. Yeah, this is an egg here, and here's an egg inside here. It's got boom boom. You want to might gonna give the kneecaps a rub as well. So I'm traveling around. Is that okay, Michael? Mm -hmm. You can notice that there's tension there, innit? Yeah. You can notice when there's tension, because I can notice it. Ideally, your muscles are meant to just be like, you know, really loose, you know? But when we sit down or we're stagnant or we overdo certain movements, our, we overuse certain muscle groups. If we're not, if we're not using your our body from the center, from a state of integrity, we tend to overcompensate. And this is when we kind of spin, this is when we can start spiraling out of control. <laughs> you know, one side becomes stronger than the other side. There you go. And move to the other car. Once again, I'm getting a good position. And another thing that I'd like to point out for you, ladies and gentlemen out there, start practicing to be ambidextrous. The philosophy is this, 
it's not if you're left-handed or right-handed, it's whatever is closest. <laughs> it's not left-handed or right-handed, it's whatever is closest. Yeah, so whatever's closest, that's the how you use, okay? So as I pivoted and I transitioned here to go into Michael's other car, I just used both hands. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't got like a, a favorite hand. You should favorite, favorite any side, it should be both sides. So just to repeat, it's not left-handed or right-handed, it's whatever is closest. <laughs> and that was, yeah, that's something that can really help out in the mixed martial arts world, if you guys have that philosophy. Don't think of one side being dominant, just say, ah, oh, no, just be good at whatever side. You see, his muscles look to bounce more now. Boom. Boom. So let's bounce it. Just bounce it around. Boom. Boom. Once again, going to the, now we're going to go into the quads. And likewise, the quads just be very gentle as well. Gentle, but we have some conviction in what you're doing, okay? Here's an interesting one, Jay. If you come, come around this one here, people can have a laugh at this one. So if you look right here, this is where the pelvis is, isn't it? But right here, there's a dip. Bro, can you feel this dip here? Mm -hmm. There's a dip right here, right? So for many of us, this part gets really tight, uh, which means you, you're, you're no longer flexible and you're going this way, right here. So what you do, right, is you hold on the other side. So I'm holding on the other side here. And Alan's gonna go in here. How does that feel? You feel it's tender, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's proper tender here. So I need to send some bong in here. Today's lesson, well, today what I'm teaching you guys more to do bonging, you know, to this kind of this bounce. Was I feel that it's probably one of the, uh, it's a technique that you can learn quite quickly, I guess. But I just remember to be gentle. But, and also, you know, it's, you know, it's less like, uh, what's the word? Embarrassing, I guess. But some people find it embarrassing to feel rubbed, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, so this kind of bong, I might, I find, I might help to introduce you to these techniques more. So this is bong, just bong. There's a gap right here. This is where the SI SI joint is, right? So you got your really loosen the muscles around it. And the transverse to the other side. This is the inverse of what I've been doing. Got on this side, but also this side here. You feel here as well. Mm -hmm. We say this one's more tender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, because this one was yeah. also... Yeah. So you, when you notice, you can do wider this one. So this leg was really, what you felt was as, as a like, tight in it. Yeah, and it's coming from here. Yeah. You see, this uh, this is what they call the, the hip, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, the hip is not open up, so all the channels down here, this is not going to be open as well. That's why it gets tied. Yeah. yeah. So we're here. We're going to put the hand right into this meridian here, man. This is where the hip is. And once again, this this is me swearing. Like I'm kind of like just swear, swear, holding the egg coming in, just swear. Remember, the hand is a tool. The hand is such a beautiful tool, it could, it could turn into so many different shapes. It, shapes. it could just mould into the area that you need it to be. Just imagine an octopi. An octopus, it can fit into different shapes, isn't it? So you just imagine your, your hand is like water or something and just, just mould your hand into it. Don't, and the only way you could do that is if you're very supple, if you're yielding, if you're soft. So that's the element of, of internal martial arts there. But then once again, I'm going to send a bong again. Okay. 
And then as you notice, well, as I'm doing this, I can see Michael's feet are twitching. See that? I, I'm noticing that, if you see that foot there, that foot there is wanting to move. And this is why I'm gonna allow, once I've done this, I'm gonna allow Michael to just take a couple of steps. But his body is always telling me what he wants to do. Yeah, so be very observant. Just be very observant. So as I'm working on people, I'm very observant of, of basically just the whole body. It's like in a holistic perspective. Be observant of their breath. Be observant if they start getting goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, just things like that, really. So everything, just be observant of what's happening. Michael, please, we should take a step back. Another one. Yeah. Having this side steps towards this direction. Which one? Towards, towards me. That's it, side step towards me. Okay. That's it, now side step towards this direction. Towards me. Okay, please. Okay, so now you're noticing that your pelvis is even more square now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start working upwards. I'm going to go now more towards like the lumbar area. Yeah, so this one here, remember backhand, yin yang, remember? Front, front hands here. And when this starts here, you guys, for your internal martial artist, what I'm doing is this. So I like to rotate. Yeah, JV rotate so they can see the stance. So I'm doing a bow stance here as well. Yeah, so I'm doing here. Yep, and I'm coming here. And because Michael's a bit taller than me, I'm just bringing my bow stance just closer, but I'm still doing bow stance. Yeah, but then once again, I'm doing a yin yang. Yin yang. And what really helps, I put a foot in there as well. Just keeping him anchored. So I've just transitioned from ball starts now. This is more of a cat stance. Just running away the spine, just still popping. Bong, 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 Front chest, back hands running along the spine. Get a move. This side doesn't need as much torsion. side these nerves get pinched because the muscles grab and when the nerves pinch it makes the spine rotate too much to one side spine out these spine out On the other side of the shoulders, gonna hug him. I'll just jump, Michael, gently breathe in and let it go. Let go of your head. Yeah, so as Michael breathed out, I hugged him and 
basically just pushing out whatever stagnation is there. And with his neck relaxed, I was able to make an adjustment right there, just below the cervical. You, you, you felt that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that shoulder is more free. We'll go back to the other one there, Let's do the other side. Yeah, so I was going to hug him. Pass your fingers, you get a nice good grip. Ask them to gently breathe in. As they breathe in, the body meets yours, you breathe in. Let go of my cord, release. Yeah, this one's not as, that one's right. So now, good. So now Michael's prepped his shoulders a bit more. I don't feel as much tightness. Michael's been working out, he's been kicking up. I know it's spot something here. I spot something here. It's nice, isn't it? It's proper. Right here. Let's get a bit. I'm just going to turn loosen up these limbs before I go and continue. So what we're doing here, I'm going to help to loosen up the, the arm before I go to the next stage. I'm going to hold on to tricep biceps. Just a nice firm grip. Got my bottom, my foot holding Marcus' hand. Well, not as cool in hands. Our hands are touching in the bottom. <laughs> These are hands, man. Yeah, I'm holding the anchor down. And then I'm just gonna just hold this limb and just give it a gentle shake. All the time, just visualizing that this limb that you're holding onto is attached to the spine. So whatever movement you're doing, make sure you're also becoming aware of where it is attached to the spine. And this really helps the recipient as well, because you're getting an image as well, isn't it? <laughs> Shake. Shake, holding on to all the muscles and shaking. Yeah. And then a little boop. So I'm using a mouse often, isn't it? Kind of leaning onto the desk as well. Okay, it's going to the forearms. Just come just holding this. Now, I'm not just squeezing from my shoulders, I'm pouncing onto it. This squeeze is like a pounce. This, this is what we come from. This is coming from that tiger. You pounce into this. Michael, can you feel the ferociousness of this? <laughs> yeah, it's not this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not that. It's, it's, and it's not that either. It's like you can feel my whole body going to you, yeah? So this is where the tiger come like, just be a gentle tiger. But I'm pounce, every time I'm doing this, I'm pouncing onto him. Like that. I'm doing the back of his hands here, you see? Down here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Gentle breath. He's still relaxed, cheers. That's it. Gentle deep breath for me. Let go. Nice. Can you help Michael more of his scapula here and bring it up in? Yeah, it's boom. Bring it through. Michael, just to follow along this torsion that I have here, yeah? Boom. Follow along the Bam. There we go. It's open now. Thank you. It was proper, isn't it? Mm. You see how your whole body now has opened up for me to, to get this point, yeah? 
you guys are, I'm bringing my whole body in. Yeah, I'm not choosing my show, I'm bringing my whole body in and sink. You feel that, Michael? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my whole body's on you. Pivot this way. Because my friends told me I had to change, change directions. Yeah. Take a step forward, please. Good. Thank you. Just keep them up to help the side as well. Um, yes. For from the white, for a long, long angle, we just see the whole body. Got this position here. Michael Lamy's manipulate the spine to move. And that's where it wants to be. It's showing me exactly where it wants to go. Okay. You can let go of the hand. Boom. That's, that's what we'll open up now. Bring your whole body in. Boom. Foot is anchored onto his foot. And let's go in. Still same, same spot though. It's not painful, is it? It's oh, so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's game changing, man. Yeah, so like martial arts, well, like this movement here, so when, you, if, when you get someone to this predicament here, you, you can send like, I could send hate in here. I could, I, I could look to disrupt his spine. I could look to, you know, just take out your arm completely, yeah? But here with like an intention to heal, I've got him in a good position now, look, and it's open up. So now I can start helping him. Obviously, you don't want to get into this position here, <laughs> like during a fight. But I'm saying, like, you know, use your knowledge of mechanics in a martial way to help people as well. I really encourage you guys at home to do that, man. Please, yeah? We can do this together. We can help each other. <laughs>